Oh boy. It's been a while since I said anything new. It's because the things I saw coming and happening a couple years ago and a year ago that I tried to talk about, they're still happening and still getting worse. So where to go from here? I don't know what, I keep having all kinds of different thoughts run through my head about what to talk about, how to talk about it. And then at the same time, I, I think, why bother? Because a lot of folk, I almost stopped it, but you know what? Whatever. Most men and women skip step one of this whole healing process of, of coming to know themselves, and that's detoxing. I didn't know, didn't know for 39 years myself was toxic because I didn't know what sustenance was. I didn't know what my body required, what the body of a man, woman, or child required for natural good energy sustenance. And it's simple, fruit. Fruit, herbs are the best, vegetables, raw, non-GMO. It's so simple. And that's what's so frustrating because folk are just, they're, they're taught nothing but contradiction and lies. So have all these different thoughts about talking about symbology or symbols or this or that, gold or silver, try to explain. But why? Because if folk haven't done step one, detox, detox has to be physical and mental. A physical and mental detox has to take place inside each man, woman, and child at the same time. If you have someone there to help you through or not, great. If you don't, do it on your own because everyone's on their fucking own anyway. And yep, this is going to turn into a rant. So here, free silver and gold. Free silver and gold. Each can get free silver and gold. How do I term it? Because it's all symbology. And every living man and woman and child is a living, breathing symbol of either contradiction or non-contradiction. By the way they look, act, their actions, what they do to themselves, to others. Like I said, for 39 years, I was oblivious to these things. Because... My mind was so fucked up from day one from vaccines and other things. They're poisons. They shut you off. That's why I was trying to say it. My son tried to say it. Others I know try to say it. My wife tried to say it. They're all mistakes. They're mistakes that are being taught. And folk are just going along with it blindly. Because they're shutting off your mind with these fucking poisons. They're neurotoxins. That's why folk can't understand symbology or symbolism or know that they're a living, breathing symbol of either right or wrong comes down to that simple. Every single thought or action is either right or wrong. So does that mean you can think or say whatever whatever you please because you want to? Because, hey, free. Freedom of speech. Don't know what freedom is. No one is free. Let, let me try this. Because this is where the free silver and gold comes from for me. And I'll explain. I'll get back to that in a minute. It's this simple. No man or woman, no man, woman, or child has the right to manipulate, coerce, or force harm on another. That's it. Every man, woman, and child has the right to take any action that doesn't cause harm to another. It's that simple. And once you get the depth of right and wrong, and realize shit like pumping neurotoxins into folk, no matter what their fucking age, it's harmful. It's horribly harmful and damaging, and it's how this fucking mind control slave system has worked all along. You get poisoned and you get taught poisoned ass information you take in through your eyes and ears. Your mind, your consciousness tries to process what your eyes visually see and take in and what your ears take in through the... Is that some, you know the symbol of the eye of Horus? The eye with the straight line down that represents the spine. The little curly Q line that some folk call the medulla. No, it's... The sound, it's the cochlea of the ear. It's a symbol of eyes and ears. What you see and what you hear. And the line over top of it, representing the corpus colostrum, is the communication of the hemispheres of the brain. The logic and the creativity. The logic or what you can physically define and look at in, in the real world and put words to matching with the picture of the imagination. So reason can be used one's own reason in the physical world because that's the mental plane in there the consciousness and when the consciousness is understood by the man or woman inside themselves or child like 
like folk would if they weren't poisoned from day one and put right into these little indoctrination camp schools and taught all these different lies. Evolution, heliocentrism, all this other shit. All the is and isms, all these labels, all this bullshit. The fucking free silver is detoxing fit physically and mentally. Getting both the physical toxins of the chemicals, the meat, the dairy, the mucus forming shit, the neurotoxins from the vaccine, the petrochemical, pharmaceutical, poison, sulfur based crap, filling the body full of all kinds of chemicals. That's how they keep you shut off. When you get that shit out, that takes time. I'm on about year five of my detox. After 39 years of really toxic, 21 years in the military as super toxic. Because that's where they try all the newest mind-controlling fucking bullshit toxins. Literal physical toxins in poison, poison injectable in pill form. And informational programs where they talk about resiliency and this and that and all these different programs they try them out on the military folk because it's a very controlled very fucking toxic group of folk because they sign up for it just like i did so you can be free it's all a fucking lie don't you see so if you're waiting for them like i try to say in the past those are some of the most horribly toxified men and women and their children around so are all the other ones that are in these so-called frontline professions or all this bullshit. It's a bullshit. So the ones you get most interaction from or interact with the public are the most fucking insane and crazy. And the rest are just blind followers found along trying to get their little shit wherever they can because they think silver and gold is a literal thing they should be chasing in this realm. In the physical realm, the physical realm... That's the place where everything takes place. So all these men, women, and children are walking around, running around, doing actions in the physical world, the physical realm, while the, their mental realm isn't, isn't clear with clarity. They don't have clarity of consciousness, like the smooth mirror, smooth silver surface of a polished mirror to have, to just realize what they're processing inside them and out them, outside them, to be able to reflect inwardly and outwardly at the same time in the physical world, moment to moment as they're walking around. When you realize what you see is only your perception of the real world. And everything you look at is your visual perception interpretation of the physical world and you realize the physical world is what it is no matter what your eyes start to process and your imagination tell you contradictory wise no the physical world still is the physical world you still are physical each and every one of us are physical so you're walking around on the physical plane in your physical body processing it with the mental plane you have going on up here and if you don't have the gold yet the gold of the conscience to know right from wrong clearly in your heart, then you kind of got that empty spiritual plane. That's what I had for so long. That's what all the indoctrination and the poisoning is designed to do. It's to burn out your spirit, your soul, your inner, whatever you want to call yourself, being able to know and perceive and feel right from wrong. Because there is no clarity of consciousness and there's no strength of conscience that is the silver and gold you want to talk about alchemy and alchemical changes and all these things i'm only saying this because i'm living proof of this because if you were to look at the pictures of me or some of my old videos when i was 39 years old after spending 21 years of supposedly fighting for this country and all this other shit for your fucking freedom you're welcome See? See how that worked out? It's a big-ass slave system that was only a matter of time before they collapsed and reordered. That's what I realized a couple years back with very, very deep clarity as I detoxed because that's the physical part that so many skip because it's the overcoming of addiction. Addiction to chemicals. Addiction to death. Addiction to the flashing screen of immoral, contradictory, bullshit-ass distraction that pours from the screen or pours from folk mouth so whatever you take through your eyes and ears and your mind can't process in reality in the real world 
without going off into fucking La La Land, you don't really know the language of symbology yet because it's simple. Because every single letter, picture, number, everything is a symbol to communicate a message. If you don't have depth inside you yet, clarity inside you yet, it's because you likely haven't detoxed yet. And I get it. And that's what's so frustrating. Because the ones that are the most toxic are the ones I need, want to hear me the most. However, I know that making a video such as this is really nothing more than me throwing my adult temper tantrum at this point. Because I know this information is controlled, it's blocked, it's manipulated. And even if it's not, even if this went fucking so-called viral, folk don't know what viruses are, germ theory ass bullshit. Anyway, even if it did, folk wouldn't get what I was saying or they might get a little angry or upset because they you know, they realize, well, it's one of those shoe fits things. They realize, oh, the shoe fits with what I'm saying because things are wrong. They don't know why they're wrong because they're wrong inside and they don't know why yet. But it's that simple. That's what I'm trying to say. You just have to realize everyone was taught wrong. I mean, look, I go by that. I go by that name, Ron. That's all I'll go by now, Ron. Even on this cane and, and see the large all capital script, it means fucking nothing. It's a sign. It's a symbol. It's three letters that I used to call myself, R-O-N. 18th letter of the alphabet, 15th letter of the alphabet, 14th letter of the alphabet. That equals 47 in Jamatru. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean anything? Well, it doesn't matter. If it does, if it means something to you, good. For me, I, I have to find my own depth in, in symbols too. But at the same time, remember... Remember not to use it like some kind of new age fuck face guru or past religionist type mystic prophet. Because all this prophecy shit and all this other shit, this is all shit being done by men and women. Tricking you into poisoning yourselves and each other. Poisoning you into this digital enslavement of everything. It's there, it, they're telling you. And folk are just going along with it because they're following other men and women that are acting like broken ass snake children. Snake as in a symbol. Not that they're really snakes. Not that they're really fucking reptiles or fucking aliens. The idiocy is ridiculous. No, snakes as in symbolically, as in cold-blooded, as in a lack of conscience, as in a predator that just consumes other fucking life and swallows it whole. Just based off, purely off instinct. But with a real snake, that's how, that's how it's created. Because this is creation. No man or woman or child created this. That's the proof that we're out here in creation. You can build a bunch of bullshit and build whatever you and do stuff here. But still, no one created the earth. I mean, it's that simple. So, so it's symbolic. Like with that three-letter word, because I definitely won't call myself that birth certificate fucking slave name again. Let me get back to that 47. 47. 47 as in what? Four sevens? Four sevens as in 28. Four times seven is 28. What is 28 notches on the back of this cane? 28. Also 28 phalanges on my hands. 28 is a lunar month. If I count these top five up here, it comes to 33. 33 degrees in the spine. But what about the 47? Well... I could use this, you know, like the compass, the square and compass, the Masonic. It's all, it's all symbols. It's all symbolism. So, 47 and 47 is attached to each other. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you what I see in the, in the symbolism for this because this is a stick. It's just a stick. Let me complete with 47. I knew this was going to sound like some crazy rant probably, but still. 23 and a half degrees north. The Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degrees south of the equator. That's in the Tropic of Capricorn. Oh, gee. And then you need a 90 degree angle to, to measure level and plumb on a flat plane because on this flat plane with the lies of the heliocentric model floating in folks' skull, keeping them, keeping them lost in La La Land where nothing matters, where there is... There is no creation. There is no creator. Nothing matters. We're all random accident mistake motherfucking monkeys. No, that's how they got you to act. They got you to act like that by teaching you that and filling you with poison. So that way, like to go back to the eye of Horus, your mind, what you perceive through your eyes and ears, you can't interpret with your own reason because your brain is disconnected from neurotoxins. 
the synapses aren't firing properly in coherency, in harmony, in both hemispheres, because too many are trapped in either logic or imagination as they think about things, trying to match up the picture of what they heard with what they see with what they think they know. And it's mostly based off someone else's imagination. Someone else's imagination has been put into their mind and that's how they're viewing the world in symbols and every damn thing. Turn it into a fucking clown show of this, that, and the other. Angels, demons, fucking aliens, chubacabras, and Bigfoots are doing all this stuff. Nope, it's men and women that are telling other men and women bullshit-ass stories like that to hide the fact that it's simply groups of men and women that want to control other men and women with belief. That's the how and why, like I've said in the past. How? They did it with belief. They got you to believe it. It's good to poison yourself. That it's okay to physically and mentally masturbate. Just just ment physically masturbate. Use, use all your energy however you want. Don't consider the fact it's procreative energy to create another life that you would actually have to be responsible to protect and care for. Hey, I made all these same mistakes in the past. I've changed though in the past about five years or so, so it's been a while. So now I feel like, you know, it's hard for me to talk about, well, well sorry about my motherfucking mistakes and here's what I did in the past. So I've already done all that. Now it's just a continuous watching of others make all these bullshit ass mistakes as they spew mental masturbation at each other. None of it has anything to do with the physical real world of what's going on, the slave system that's been going on this whole time, all built on labels and beliefs, being run by assholes in costumes, in different groups. I don't care what group or organization you're attached to. They're all part of the same thing because they're all based off immorality or wrong. That's it. Because no one, no man or woman has the right to coer coerce or manipulate or force harm on another. That goes all the way to the beginning. That means you can't just tell men, women, children bullshit, get them to believe it, and think it's okay when they get hurt by it later. Because it's their fault for believing. No, nope. that means you shouldn't be teaching all of this bullshit. Heliocentrism. Shouldn't be teaching men, women, and children that they're animals, that they come from animals, that they can treat animals any way they choose because nothing matters that's wrong it's so simple it's frustrating that's the free silver and gold that can be found in this world in this reality inside the individual man woman let me get to that word because these words just let me let me just spout out some words that i don't mean to just say sometimes they just slip out because i was I was indoctrinated and programmed like everyone else. Some of these, some of these words like that are synonymous with slave, individual, according to their word, their legalese dictionary, just go look. Synonymous with slave or creature or or corporation or dead entity, whatever. Resident, individual, people, person, American. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. If you think rights come from a piece of paper, they don't. Right and wrong comes from inside. Inside, each man and woman just knowing right from wrong. So, once you realize that rights don't come from a fucking piece of paper or some other man or woman telling you that they came from somewhere or some book or something, you know right from wrong comes from inside. And I was wrong for a long time, like I said. It's kind of funny. Because what I call myself now, Ron, is right in the middle of that fucking word. Wrong. Right in the middle of it, Ron. Like it should have jumped out at me sooner. But it didn't. You know why? Because I was a mind-controlled fucking slave zombie of this system. Thinking I was doing right. Signed up to help protect this thing. All I did was help sign up and then help propagate this slave system. That's all I helped to do. Didn't even realize it. So all y'all that are running around just thanking folk for helping to propagate the slave system no matter what costume they wear or what, what group they're a part of, what they claim, what they call themselves, you need to turn your back on them. Maybe try to help them let them know and then get away from them and hopefully they can detox because it takes weeks, months, years to detox from a lifetime of toxicity. 
and the clarity only strengthens, and the strength of conscience only strengthens. As the man, woman, or child gets the physical toxins out of them and the mental toxins that are that they keep feeding, the addictions, feeding the eyes and ears constantly with distraction, with bullshit. Well, the folks worse because you lack coherency inside to form your own. And then you're spewing other folk. I, I'm, already, I'm repeating myself again. That's why I haven't spoke for months. I still find myself repeating the same shit I said. But anyway, back to the notes, you see the, and, and the dragon. What do I, what do I get from that? Because I know it's how, how it's used out there and everything in different ways. And that's part of the clarity, the clarity of the silver of a clear perceptive consciousness in the moment that gets symbolism for the self and also gets how others use it. Because you can just listen to way, way folk present themselves or present any kind of symbols they wear or attach themselves to or label. And you know they're, they're, they're spewing imagination games. They're living a land of cartoons in their mind. It's a symbol of wisdom though, right? For some, it is for me because wisdom, wisdom, it was a long road to wisdom. A lot of folks throw that term around. That's step three of the trivium. Knowledge comes first. Understanding that knowledge with depth. And I'm talking about self. Self first. That leads to wisdom. Wisdom is what actions you take based off the knowledge you have and the depth of the understanding in which you have that knowledge. That's why the, the first thing was always in these ancient mystery schools and all this bullshit and this society and that society to know thyself because that's what you're supposed to know. That's what each of us can know. And that takes detoxing because until you do, you don't know yourself. You don't know the who, what, why you are, let alone where, especially if you were taught in this indoctrination camp system shit in whatever country it's called. Because it's all the same corporate nonsense beast system. Stop poisoning yourselves and each other, please. Try to warn. It's going, it's just rampant. That's the separation. There's men, women, and children that have clarity of consciousness, that know where they live, they know who, what, why they are, they've detoxed, they've got healthy in their body and mind and their spirit. And they walk around on this physical plane with that silver of clarity of consciousness and that gold of strength of conscience, knowing right from wrong, because it's that simple. And they won't accept any kind of shit from any kind of slave wearing any kind of label for any kind of category or corporation or religion or government telling them to do things they know are wrong. I should have learned these things before I did them for 21 years fucking straight. I didn't. Like I said in my past videos, I try to explain my mistakes and how they destroy not only me, but my family. That's changed. Though I can't help my family that aren't here. And you know, you know what? I can't help. Is what I've come to find. That's why I haven't made any videos. Each can only help themselves. Each has to get themselves out of the physical and mental toxicity that they're under. Keeping them from clarity on their mental plane, on the mental plane, as they walk around this physical plane of the world. Most, it, each needs to get it inside them because right now you're faced with a whole Society, society in general. It's men and women that don't have clarity in their consciousness. They're looking through just broken, fractured lenses of imagination and broken logic and can't reason what's happening. So they're just going along with what they were taught. And that's exactly the problem. That's exactly how they're bringing down, destroying and reordering this slave system because they know so many of the slaves still don't realize they're slaves. They think they're free. And they are not free until you find that that metaphysical silver and gold that you can find inside yourself. And that takes reconciliation of all the visible colors, of all the chakras, of getting your body clean, all those things. You know how you do it? 
you stop physically masturbating and mentally masturbating and you get the toxicity out. And if you're going to study some esoteric things or different religions or texts, which I think is a good idea, I've taken in plenty myself, you have to take in enough, enough, not just one with a bunch of death and then think the keys to the fucking universe are in this one book. You can find them in any and in a lot of books. But the thing is, is to take in enough so you get the language of symbolism and how others are using it. Because that's how you find all these bullshit ass deceptions when folks start talking about aliens and other beings. on So you can hear where their mind has been. You can hear. I can hear it. Once you take in enough, you can hear where their imagination is being held captive by someone else's imagination as they spew someone else's imaginary conception of reality because they don't know themselves yet. I went through it myself. I went through that stage of the going from the nasty, savage, whatever I thought I was, warrior, whatever, blah, 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 whatever fucking class I thought I fell in like a fool, like a fucking moron. I know the place where my name is right in that motherfucker I should have realized. Ron, right in the middle of that moron. Ironic, huh? There's another one. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get you on the side. Where was I going with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Where was I going? Talking about me being a moron. Yeah, because of those labels. So, after I realized just how harmful and destructive it was to be that kind, that kind of idiot, Fighting and doing things like why fight and realize oh it's just for someone else's bullshit ass reasons fight and destroy things because someone said so that harms does harm to other living men women children and animals and I did plenty of it and then realized it was wrong and then went oh shit I need to heal because now I'm fucked now I'm dying now all kinds of things happen to me that I haven't gone into with with death. Because it's, it's my story. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with anyone else. But it's all intertwined with the same bullshit slave system that everyone else is living in. So anyway, once I realized, oh, I got to heal from this because I was dying. I was having heart attacks and dying in a laundry list of problems. I put out in one of my videos years ago trying to tell folks you can recover from all these things that those, this fake ass medical system says you can't recover from. I'm living proof. My wife's living proof. I've seen plenty of others living proof. I mean, there's plenty. I mean, it's simple. It just takes work. It takes effort. And the mental effort is usually too much for folk. The physical pain is usually too much for folk. As your body adjusts to a more natural state of being, the state of being of a living man or woman that, that knows they have their own consciousness they have to do something with and also a conscience in there that feels the pain of all their own past actions because now that man or woman is actually self-reflecting deeply with depth to figure out the right and wrong and then realizing the right and wrong the self has done not just to the self but others it's a journey to correct that contradiction that is the silver and gold and so that's the alchemy, because each is the alchemical vessel, the man, woman, and child, the alchemical vessel of change. What ingredients are going to get put into this man, woman, or child? Is it going to be a bunch of toxic fucking shit, and then they're going to turn into a creature, a slave, a resident, a citizen, a fucking whatever, a blind follower of some asshole, because someone wrote something down somewhere sometime, or someone says, hey, I'm in charge, because reasons fucking bullshit each can find out nope that's wrong it's ridiculous and no one should be trying to control each other once you get that clearly in the mind and in the heart in the consciousness and in the conscience and you live there continuously because the guts aren't run by toxicity death chemicals and addiction feeding not just the guts the lower the sacral chakra not beating yourself off or, or pleasuring yourself for a little form of escapism from this dark ass world you find yourself in or the stressful ass life you don't understand you have or why. It's because you, you were born into a slave society. That's why it's simply seeing it. But see, that's why I know this is more, this is a little more than just a little rant. And I could have kept going with different little numbers and symbols and things, but you know, it doesn't matter. 
because each has to find that for themselves and each has to become a living, breathing symbol of right or wrong. That takes getting the poison out of you. Stop eating poison, watching poison, listening to poison. You'll stop spewing poison. You'll stop acting like a narcissistic fucking vampire, attention-seeking, controlling creature, and you'll become a living man or woman with clarity and control over their own consciousness that lives in the strength of their own conscience to stick with what's right or wrong. Because that's what I see. That's where I'm at now, and that's why I call this a bit of a temper tantrum. Because I will go no further. The only reason I'm not homeless right now is because my wife spends that slave retirement money from the military, the slave retirement system money that shows up. My wife uses it to pay these bills and things. And I don't ask for shit because I don't want shit. I don't want anything to do with it. And I keep telling her, one of these days they're going to turn it off. One of these days it's all being turned off. I told her this years ago that it was coming. Once I kind of really thought it through, contemplated it, saw it, and go, oh, I got to try and express this and share this, which I tried there for a bit. Anyway, when it does get shut off, like I keep saying, like, I could care less. You turn off the power, turn off the fake ass money, turn off all of it. I could care less. Because you know what? I don't want any more of it. And I won't go along with it. That's part of my adult temper tantrum now. Like this video. This is more of a little more than a little rant. Maybe someone will get some from it. Maybe they won't. It's the most simple way I can put it. To find the metaphysical silver and gold in this world. The treasure in this world. The treasure is inside you. It is clarity in your own consciousness. It's your ability to perceive through the five senses, the physical world you're in, in the physical body you're in, in a harmonious way that's not run off of the rocket fuel of sugar, processed sugar, toxins, chemicals, all shut off from neurotoxins, from poisons, from vaccines, from petrochemical-based pharmaceuticals. That's what you need to get out so you can get the gift of clarity of your consciousness. So you can get your ability to logic and reason things out and get your own mind and imagination under control so you can use it for yourself in a harmonious way not to take, not to cause harm because no one has the right to. It's that simple. So I figured that's how I go through the rest of my time in this world. I'm fucking sticking to it. I won't cause no harm. I won't cause no shit. I'll point out the bullshit and I'll walk through this life with a stick. So I'm not one of those crazy ex-military folk, the PTSD from the combat zone and all so shy. Oh boy, I mean it's there, but it's deep, deep in there. That is the regrets and the tarnished part of my conscience that won't go away, the mistakes I made. Tarnished. All I've been doing for the last few years is try to get more clarity and strength in that conscience to not make the same mistakes again. So that's why I'll, I'll go with Ron. Won't catch me calling myself any of that slave name from the birth certificate. That's why I lit on fire. Won't catch me calling myself a resident or say I live at an, at an address or anything because I live right here. And I will die right here in this body one day. Maybe, and I felt, I had felt for a while. Maybe sooner rather than later because, because I won't, I won't bow to any of you. I won't bow to any of you men or women, no matter what label, costume, or title you hold. I won't. You're a bunch of slaves for the slave system. I don't give a shit what group or hierarchy or organization you're a part of. It's all the same thing. So I go through this life with a stick. Not with assault rifles and fucking all this other shit. You folk got it. The craziest and the most toxic folk are running around with those doing the bidding of others that tell them what to do. That's the problem. They're not doing anything to help. They're doing whatever they're told to do to propagate harm. And it's that simple. And each of them have to get out of it so they can heal. Get out of it in whatever way that means. Get out of it by stop doing the same repetitive behaviors of listening blindly to what you're shown and told. Think and feel for yourself that takes detoxing. That takes cutting away from all the addictive ass substances. I was addicted to 
many, many, many of them. So I get how hard it is. And it is excruciating at first to go through the detox process. And it's excruciating for a long period of time, depending on how many different ailments you have inside. I'm still working through things and still finding things, issues I have that I'm working through because of so much toxicity. And it's an ongoing everyday thing, daily thing. Wow, all these other, all these other warfare operations are taking place. The weather warfare every day, the particulate, the geoengineering, which the mind controlled call climate change. When I say mind control, I don't mean that they are controlling the men and women that think that they're under mind control of others' imagination. So they can't control their own mind and have clarity in their consciousness, of their perception, of what they see happening in the sky and nature around them and to see unnatural it is and to get why it's happening. So I tried to make videos about it in the past, tried to explain. But it's up to each. Each has to figure out themselves what energy is. How they process that energy with their eyes and ears. They have to figure out how their eyes and ears work. Tie that together with both hemispheres of their brain functioning properly. That can only really happen fluidly and flowingly, which is the mercury of the alchemical transformation of when you have that clarity that you can see so clearly like a pane of flat silver or a plane of flat glass. On this physical plane we're on, the mental plane, knowing that it's looking through these hemispherical eyes and its perception of this plane that we're on is just that. It's just, a, just the interpretation of light. And that if you move closer to objects, you'll see much more, that there's much more detail, that it, it's not the size that your eyes told you it was. It's whatever size it is in reality. And, and if you just go outside and look sometime and look and listen and don't move and you realize there's more information there that you can perceive and take in, there's more information than you could ever really get in a lifetime. Here's how I look at it. Like I step outside and I'm seeing all the leaves on all the stems of all the branches of all the trees, all the creases and all the bark on all the trees, the different grain of wood all the different blades of grass, the different types of grass, the different types of plants, all of their individual leaves, their buds, their flowers, their stems, the animals, the bugs, all the different sizes, can stand in one spot, look and listen, and realize there's more information there than I could ever take in. I could never know how many blades of grass, let alone grains of dirt, are on the ground, let alone how many leaves are on the tree I'm looking at, or... How many trees are in this mass of trees I'm looking at? It's that kind of contemplation, simple deep contemplation that will help one clear one's own mind of bullshit, fairy tale, la la land belief. And that's what's necessary to realize you live on a physical plane. That each man and woman is perceiving it through the mental plane they have going on up here in their mind, in their consciousness, their perception, in the spiritual plane of conscience, of knowing right from wrong, doing right from wrong, avoiding wrong at all costs and not going along with it. That's where the real strength is. That's, that's how I feel. So that's how I'll go through the rest of my life. Whenever it all comes down, I already told my wife, like, sorry, I don't know what to do for you going forward. I don't know what to do. Does it make me a, a piece of whatever you call me, whatever you want? I will not play along with your slave system, with anyone's slave system. I won't. I would rather sit outside or in the tent or under some little shelter that have nothing but a little maybe life straw, which I have. I'll sit out there with a life straw and I'll try to pick leaves and eat grass. And I'll drink whatever little water I can find as clean as possible through that life straw. And I'll go through the rest of this fake ass Armageddon that's being played out by a bunch of fucking asshole men and women that are collapsing and reordering this whole slave system, playing out their little fake ass version of Armageddon. Because folk will just go right along with, oh yeah, it's Armageddon. Fucking 
yeah, God's coming or the Savior's coming. You listen. Men, women, and children, you have to help yourself. You have to save yourself. You save yourself and you help yourself by realizing you were born into a society of toxicity and contradiction. And then you work that stuff out. Do it much faster than I did. I try to say it in the past. We're already way past time, it seems. So you know what I've been doing? Instead of saying things, just my little verbal rants or anything or trying to explain anything because I knew it wasn't going to help. It wasn't helping. Who am I to, to be able to help like this? It's whatever. I ordered a bunch of boxes of memory sticks, 30 gigabyte memory sticks. So along with this stick as I walk through this world, so you see I'm not a threat. Stormtroopers or you little teams of ninjas or your little secret society groups of fucking assassins or whatever you got out there. And, and I know it doesn't take any of that kind of special kind of specialty talent or, or, or anything. No special kind of predatory man or woman is needed for someone like me because... I mean, you can get the local fucking crack kids that are addicted to, to whatever to do do your fucked up shit. And that's how it goes. All these all these programs, it's, it's all the same. It's to get folk toxic, get them addicted to toxicity. With the belief of money, you can steer and control them to do anything. Folk think that's fucking, uh, folk don't get that. So many things anyway. So these sticks, that's what it's been for months. My wife and I and... <laughs> yeah. These. Put these out in the world. Memory sticks. Why? I figure with enough information to break through enough psyops and warfare all at once, if someone were to take the time to be able to comprehend the kind of world they're living in, what's going on around them, that's why. Because me talking incessantly or hoping someone will click on a random video or listening to some what random ass man or woman has to talk about sitting in their chair. I don't, I don't expect anyone to have the time for that shit or to find it. I mean, so I talk to who I can, when I can, when the opportunity presents itself in the flesh, which isn't often because I don't go out there much because society's disgusting, it's toxic. And it's being destroyed on purpose. So, try to leave those out there. Information. Information like the one on that 30 gigabytes. Well, there's, there's videos, there's PDFs, there's books. There's PDF books, there's audio books. There's enough, I hope, to get someone to be able to comprehend the language of symbology at some point. Long presentation on natural law to get what morality is. Long interviews on, on generational systemic Satanism and, and just whatever kind of isterism you want to put to it. The dark, the dark, twisted men and women that do sick shit to other men, women, and children because they're broken. Because they have no conscience and because their consciousness is twisted. It's not that that silver clarity of ease of reflection of self and other. No. It's like a muddy pile of toxic shit, the consciousness of these folk running around. So many of them you live right next to, probably. I mean, some of you might be listening to that, but I figure it if you were one of them and you were listening to this, you likely would have turned it off by now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah the, the truth hurts, though. And that's the thing with the truth. It's one size fits all. And if the fucking shoe fits, wear it, motherfucker. So that's what I figure. I leave out the memory stick, put out the memory stick, get the memory sticks and other folk can that, that they go through that kind of stuff. Like, what I see, natural law. Yeah, the generational systemic fucking... Satanism or Luciferianism or whatever the fuck, all this, the bloodline families, all these different groups, stuff that explains the new world. Not just, there's a very few of my, few of my videos. Most are all the folk stuff put together. Benjamin Friedman's speech at the Waldorf. Um, whole bunch of things on a whole bunch of topics. Robert Morse, if you haven't looked at Robert Morse, ND, the lymphatic system. That's on there, his series on lymphatic system. Because you know why? I'm hoping there's enough stuff on there for folk to, to be able to get themselves and how they function and operate. Because that's the thing. You have a nervous system. That's the energy moving through your body that fires all these synapses off. 
in the nerves, your nervous system. That's why they inject neurotoxins into you to fuck up your nervous system. It causes all kinds of systemic other problems. Your lymphatic system, your lymphatic system that's supposed to get the gunk out of you to detox you, gets all clogged up with mucus and, and bullshit from these same injections and from eating meat and dairy and then eating the processed sugar feeds the mutated cells that grow in the body and then then they call it all kind of lists of random ass disease names it's all bullshit it's just dysfunction in the body of one's own nervous system their lymphatic system and their blood those materials that you made up the physical material of your body that runs your physical body those three systems get that cleaned out fruits and berries Fruits and berries, raw foods, like get to the fruits, vegetables, get the herbs you need, get the, just detox. And it's not just to do a couple day fucking thing and, and then you're good. Or hey, I went for 72 hours and now I feel, oh boy, I don't want to get to. It's a weeks, months, years long thing. It's a lifetime commitment. It's a lifetime type of, of change. From going from contradiction to non-contradiction. From wrong to right. From evil to good. It's a lifestyle change. Physical, mental, spiritual lifestyle change. To do that, you have to recognize the things that have happened and are happening to prevent what's hap what's coming. I tried to say that a year ago, two years ago. Like It's so simple and that's why it's so frustrating. So that's why I put this kind of stuff out. And that's why I won't agree. So... Whenever any of y'all out there, if any of y'all the wrong type of folk, worshippers of this slave system or some other man or woman,